Good morning, dogs. FAFSA, College Go Week, and more after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. If you need help filling out the free application for federal student aid, then you should consider attending FAFSA night. FAFSA night is a free event for families needing assistance with filling out the free application for federal student aid. This will take place on Thursday, October 6th from 4.30 to 7.30 with an appointment needed. Next week is College Go Week, so make sure you dress up on Monday. Monday is warm up for college, so wear your sweats. Tuesday is military or trade profession. On Wednesday is college roommates or dress up as twins. Thursday is dress like a boss or dress for success. And finally, Friday is your future starts here, so wear your Frankfurt gear. And continuing with College Go Week, there are currently 40 colleges that have waived their applications fee. If you're interested in applying for these colleges, check out that list in the chatter. And now, let's head into sports and weather. What's up, dogs? Battling not only Danville, but the cold and windy night. The Frankfurt Slugger team secured the win with a score of 1-0, scoring the only goal of the night, Manuel Barganon. Jose Campos, along with 10 other players in front of him, kept a clean sheet, allowing zero goals to be scored against the Hot Dogs. With a win this Saturday, the Hot Dogs will be Sagamore Conference champs. Come and support the Hot Dogs, as it is here at home at 11 a.m. The tennis team had their last match of the season, and the Hot Dogs found themselves playing against the team leading the conference on Thursday evening. The Dogs were able to give them all they could handle, but not enough to beat the Athenians with a 5-0 sweep. And now, to send you with your weather. Good morning, Dogs. Today is Paper Rally Day, so for weather, we have a high of 65 degrees and a low of 50. Finally, we have a very nice cooler day, but sometimes it gets a bit out of hand, so make sure you have a sweater on to stay at least warm a little. That's it for weather. Last night, the volleyball team played a tough four-game match against Clam Prairie. The dogs came out fired up, but fell short in the first set, falling to the Gophers 25-17. The second set, the girls came out hot and won the set 25-19. With the series being tied, the third set was close, with the score being within one point, but ultimately fell again 25-19. In the fourth set, the girls played spectacular, with Ashley Zane making amazing saves, Jalen Smith and Brooklyn Perry making amazing blocks, and seniors Macy Sterrett, Erica Stevenson, and Emma Pillion leading the front. With the last five points and the dogs going back and forth with the Gophers due to a controversial call, the game ended with the score being 26-24. And a special shout out to the student section for their amazing energy and support. The girls will be back in action next week on Tuesday where they face the Clan Central Bulldogs here at home. Make sure to pop out for that game as well and bring the energy, as it this is another county rival. And attention dogs, tonight is homecoming. The football team is here at home facing the Western Boone Stars. Kickoff is at 10 p.m. The, the theme is blue and white. Come out and support the dogs, as this is a conference rival. Sit in the student section. If you can't make it, the game will be live streamed here on Hot Dog Network and the IS, ISC Sports Network if you can't make it. Make sure to bring out Bring your blue and white. Watch Big Man on Campus and Homecoming Queen be crowned. Have fun and sit in the student section. That's all for sports. Now, back to your host. Thanks, Carlos. But let's send it away again, but this time to Austin Penry with a special feature on advanced physical activities. Hey hot dogs, I'm outside the weight room right now. Let's go inside and see what's going on. Um, for somebody that's never taken APC, I would say don't be afraid to try something new. 
I think that's what limits some people from um, trying to trying to class is that they're they're scared of the unknown. So I would say don't be afraid. I think my favorite part of APC is probably just the energy. Everybody in here is just trying to get better for themselves and trying to get stronger, and everybody's just trying to help each other out, smashing PRs and just having fun. Uh, my favorite part about APC is that it's just like a nice break in the day to let off some steam if you need to, and uh, it's nice to be in there uh, with Pods. He's pushing you, and you're getting stronger and better, faster, more athletic if you need to for sports. And, uh, yeah, it's just a nice break in the day. Uh, it's really fun, too. That's all hot dogs. Hopefully you can start taking APC after this video. And until next time, it's Austin Penry with Hot Dog TV. Thanks, Austin. And dogs, remember we have our pep rally seventh period at the football field. So make sure you take whatever you plan on bringing home with you for the weekend to sixth period and that includes your backpack but only for today dogs and a happy birthday goes out to Xander Ford and Julio Rivera for lunch today in lines one and two is Asian or general style chicken line three is salad bar slash broccoli cheese soup and line four is cheese or pepperoni personal pizza and that's all for today dogs make sure you like subscribe and have a fantastic Friday sit in the center section tonight <laughs>